There's a new scam that's getting totally out of control, and today I'm going to teach you a really creative solution to deal with it. It always starts with a seemingly innocent text message from a number that notably is not saved into your contacts. Let's go out to dinner. Lunch Thursday? Let's get manicures. These are just a few examples, but let me be clear, this is in fact a phishing scam. But of course, it does beg the question, how do you know that it's not just someone that you forgot to save into your phone? At this point, I'd like to teach you a really simple trick that will help you determine whether or not that message is legit. And if you do determine that it's a scam, make sure you watch the whole video because I'm also going to teach you the sweetest way to get revenge. One of the features built into the guts of the Mac, iPhone, and iPad that syncs through iCloud is called text replacement. I've made several videos in the past about creative ways to use text replacement, but this is now by far my favorite. On your phone, go into settings followed by general and then tap on keyboard. Now I want you to tap on text replacement and then tap on the plus symbol at the top. Here where it says phrase, type in the following, or if you like, you can copy and paste this. I'll put it in the video description. Sorry, I don't recognize this number and I have been the victim of phishing scams recently and need you to please provide your full name for security reasons. This is not a joke. Thank you. It's short, direct, and specifically mentions that the reason for the request of information is security related. So if they dodge the question and say something cute like, don't you remember me? You know they're either a scammer or a friend that you need to dump immediately. At this point, we're going to tap into the field called shortcut, and anytime I'm creating text replacements, I usually use one of two methods. I'll either triple up a letter, or I'll take two words and then combine them without a space. For this example, I'm going to triple up the letter S because I associate the letter S with the word spam. So now, anytime I need to access that phrase, all I need to do is tap the S key three times, followed by the space bar. When you tap the space bar, that is the action that replaces the text. Keep in mind, if they do respond with the name of one of your known contacts, you still might want to call them on the phone just to make sure it really is them. After all, if it is a scammer, they could easily find out who you're friends with on social media. Now, if you do determine that you're dealing with a scammer, of course you could block them. But before you do, let's be just a little bit evil. We're going to create a second text replacement, but instead of tripling up a letter, I'm going to use my other method, which involves combining two words together without a space. And in this occasion, I feel like it's very appropriate to use f you without a space. At this point, I want you to go into the video description and click on the link at the top, which will take you to this hidden page on my website. Copy everything you see here to the clipboard and then paste it into the shortcut field. And anytime you get these messages in the future, just use your own little shortcut over and over again until they block you. I'm sorry, what? What part didn't you understand? The buh or the bye? Bye bye. Don't forget to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed. Show's over, over, folks. Bye let's bye. move. Bye bye. Let's get. Uh, let's pick this thing up. Let's go for it. One, two, three. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks a lot.